Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Let me show you the song. All right, the whole song is basically three chords, if I'm not mistaken. So we need an A, uh, we need an A major chord. So this is the verse. We got A major. For four beats. G. four beats, and then D for two, G for two, and then A for four. So that's the, the bare bones, you know, space that the chords take up. over. Okay, so now let's work on a rhythm. So down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. That's going to be the rhythm pattern. So on the A chord, you're going to have to add your pinky if you know if you want the embellishments off the recording. Pinky on the third fret of the B. So up, up. It's gonna be one up with pinky, one with it off, one with the ring off, and then ring back on. So watch. So watch. Now on the G chord, if you can, same rhythm pattern, but we're gonna have we're gonna stretch our pinky to the fifth fret if you can do it. If not, you can just play a G chord. But this is kind of what he was doing. Now, with the D chord, you could do the same rhythm pattern. So the only other two parts in the song, you can follow those same rhythm guidelines there. So the next part is D, G, so D for two, G for two, A for four, watch. time through it's a G to D with a cutoff. 